Hello all. Welcome to CRS Info Solutions. In this session, we are going to cover about workflows. So workflow is a kind of automated process where you can perform some actions based on the criteria. So there are three types of criteria available. One is created and second one is created and every time edited. And third one is with the same with the whenever it's meeting the subsequent criteria. So let's see in detail. And there are two types of actions which we can perform in the workflows. One is immediate actions and one more is time dependent actions. So there are the list of actions which can perform with the workflows or you can create a task and you can send email alerts and you can update the fields and you can send the outbound messages. So let's see a small demo how to work with workflows. So here we go. So to work with workflows, you need to search with workflows like So here you can find workflow rules. So once you find the workflow rules, you can select continue. So here you can select new rule. Uh, for example, I'll take it as an account object. So in account, I can specify any conditions which are based on the criteria, like based on the requirement. So for example, now I'm creating the rule name as account rules. So here it will fire whenever the account get account records get created. And this will fire whenever the account record gets created and whenever you are updating the same record. And this will fire whenever it get created along with edited and which meeting some specific criteria. So here you need to mention the criteria. So here I'll mention whenever the account industry, I'll go for industry, account industry. So Whenever the account industry becomes agriculture, I want to make some automated actions. So I have specified the criteria when it needs to get fired. So this action would be performed whenever the account gets created, even whenever it's get modified along with this criteria if it matches. So I'll just select save and next. So here is the place where you can perform the actions. Um, the first action, I'll specify the new task. So here you can mention any name of the task and to whom it, this task needs to be assigned. For now, I'll assign myself. So here the subject is account you can give any subject based on the requirement i'll give as account created and the comments also the same and when this task needs to be when when this task due dates needs to be mentioned that you can mention it so i can mention whenever the account gets created from that two days and you can make the status and you can choose the priority and you can save it so now one action has included over here which is task creation and second one is on the same time i want to perform some email update like i email notification so like you can send the test notification So email template, which are the template you have created earlier, you can use the template and you can choose the user to whom you wanted to get notified. So that user, you can choose it and save this template. So two actions has been performed. Now I'll add the third action.
I'll update the field. So I'll give the name as description update. So what I'm trying to update here is whenever the new account is get created with the industry agriculture, I want to update the field description field, which is there in the account object. So for that specific description field, I want to populate some values. So here you can choose this formula editor. So within a single quotes, you can give as account task created and I'll just save it. So I have added three actions and I'll perform the fourth action also, which is a time dependent trigger. So let's add that one also. So from the account created, I'll make this as a two days. So whenever this workflow get fired, rule trigger date. Whenever it that means whenever this trigger get fired from there, it will perform this action with 48 hours. So here I have added the time trigger. For that time trigger, you can specific any actions. For example, I'll send one more email alert like account created account remainder 48 hours so this is the description and you can select any email template for that whichever you wanted to send and I'll select the same user and I'll save it so now four actions are performed so outbound message which is something which cannot test right now we can test this one based on the sending messages to the third party system from Salesforce so which we can be discussed later okay so now we can test all those actions so I'll just give it as done and you can activate this workflow then only this will work so here you can select your name as a default workflow user and save it okay so now this workflow is active so now let's go and create an account and test it I'll create a new account. Uh, account name is workflow test. And we need to populate the mandatory fields. You operating phone number and then annual revenue and then PAN number and then save it so now this criteria is actually not matched so let's go and match with the criteria so account industry should be agriculture so save it so here you can see there is a task created over here new task created so account created is the name of the task and this is the due date which it is there uh, we have given for two days so this is the first one and second one we can check with the email alert so here you can check we got an email alert and the third one so here you can see the description got populated as account as created so fourth one is, is a time dependent action which we can check uh, here you can see there is a time based workflow option uh, 
so open that one so if you wanted to check that one currently you can see there are uh, there are nothing got scheduled so we can check with that object name equals I'll just check with the object because I have created with account so I can search so here you can see workflow test has been in the queue and it will get fire on the specified time so this is how you can work with workflows thanks for watching this video let's see one another show